We just learned a number of sports like das Laufen, das Joggen, das Skilaufen, das Fischen, das Schwimmen, das Surfen, das Tauchen, das Turnen, das Ringen, das Boxen. And as pointed out in the last two lessons, these sports terms are verbs used as nouns or gerunds. But of course, they can be conjugated like other verbs as well. For example, let's take the word fischen to fish. Repeat the forms after me. Ich fische. Du fischt. Er fischt. Wir fischen. Ihr fischt. Sie fischen. Notice the endings are the same endings that most German verbs have. And these verbs as well, to jog, to surf, to scuba dive, to do gymnastics, to wrestle, and to swim, these take the same endings. You just take the en off of the infinitive, leaving you with the stem, and then you add these endings. E for the ish form, st for the do form, t for the er, z, and s form, as well as the ear form, the u informal plural, and then en for the vir form, for the we form, as well as z meaning they or u formal. So, a few of the verbs have irregularities that I'd like to point out. Let's take a look at the verb laufen, to run. Repeat the forms after me. Ich laufe. Du läufst. Er läuft. Sie läuft. Es läuft. Wir laufen. Ihr lauft. Sie laufen. And as you can see, and as you heard as well, the du form and the er, and s form have a spelling change. The A has an umlaut over it, and it does sound different. Läuft. Läuft. When there is a spelling change in a verb, it almost always happens in the do form and the er, z, and s form. So, let's practice the verb laufen with two new words. Repeat the word for quickly or fast. Schnell. Repeat the word for slowly. Langsam. Repeat both words once again. Schnell. Langsam. Good. So say, I run quickly and you run slowly. Ich laufe schnell. Du läufst langsam. Say, he runs quickly and she runs slowly. Er läuft schnell. Sie läuft langsam. Say, we run quickly, you in formal plural run slowly, and they run quickly. Wir laufen schnell. Ihr lauft langsam. Sie laufen schnell. Good. That takes care of the word laufen as a verb, but what about she laufen? It's actually the same verb, but with the noun she added to it. And as we learned, nouns can be added to verbs to make gerunds with different meanings, such as spielen to play, adding klavier to spielen, we had klavier spielen, playing piano, or fußball spielen, playing soccer, etc. By the way, another common way to say skiing is this. Das Skifahren, but we're going to use Skilaufen today. And when we use Skilaufen as a verb, we have to separate the word Ski from Laufen. So, repeat these sentences after me. Say, in the winter I ski, and then ask the question to a friend, do you ski? Im Winter laufe ich Ski. Läufst du Ski? Notice the first sentence. In the normal German statement, the verb must be the second element of the sentence. Not necessarily the second word, but the second element. For example, im Winter is a prepositional phrase. That's your first element. So the verb had to be next, and it is. Laufe ich. In English, we say, in the winter, I ski. But in German, im Winter laufe ich. The verb and subject are switched around. Also, look at the second sentence. In questions that don't have a question word like who, what, why, when, the verb comes first, followed by the subject. Let's continue. Say in the winter he skis and ask the question, does she ski? Im Winter läuft der Ski. Läuft sie Ski? Good. And one more verb I wanted to point out, the verb boxen. Repeat the forms after me. Ich boxe. Du boxt. Er boxt. Wir boxen. Ihr boxt. Sie boxen. Notice that the do form doesn't end in st as usual. If the S sound is already there, there is no need to add another S. And the letter X, just like the letter Z, has an S sound in it. So the do form just ends in a T. That's true of all verbs ending in X-E-N or Z-E-N, like the verb tanzen, to dance, that we've already learned. Good job.